Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Ramshackle Thoughts, and welcome to the Shrouded Isle. A game which is apparently about cult management? That's what I was sold on anyway. The idea that I can be in charge of a cult. And pick and choose when people should be sacrificed. Should we get started? I love the art style. It reminds me of... It reminds me of playing Darkest Dungeon on an original Game Boy. That's what this, like, colour and weird scratchy paint reminds me of. Am I the only one who can see that? Maybe. Let's get started. Ding! 497 years ago, our founders saw that humanity would perish except to the worthy. The Lord will return in glory to reward the faithful. Yet there are sinners in our community. People who can't read fast enough. As the High Priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Three years until Judgment Day. If we are free from sin, he will save us from this suffering. Well, alright then. A new season begins. Select a seasonal advisor from each house. What? Click on a house and appoint advisors. I have a letter in the cathedral. Let's read what this says. From Peter Kegney. A letter reads, Beloved leader, help me, I am afraid. I have deciphered a new passage of the Holy Scriptures. A word we thought meant 500 now may only mean... Sorry, now may now mean 5,000. Is it possible we must suffer for another 4,500 years? Ooh. So we've got three choices to pick from here. We will suffer as long as Lord Chernobog wishes. Chernobog, I know that. That's... It's a, a, a nighttime spirit? Or a nighttime, like, god? From Europe somewhere? I want to say Eastern Europe? Something like that. Someone tell me if I'm right. Peter may not like this. <laughs> you are wrong, my child. Do not fear, and penitence will suffer. Okay. Penitence being down here. Burn the passage and speak of it to no one, and fervor will suffer. Oh god, so many choices of suffering. Let's read what these things do. So. Let's go through everything here, shall we? There's Kegney, of which Peter Kegney is a, is a member. Kegney owned the farmlands, providing sustenance to the village and hosting book burnings. Oh, lovely people. One inquiry remaining, and they like ignorance. They are big fans of ignorance. Destroy forbidden records to erase the sinful past, improved by childlike, dull, practical, superstitious, uneducated, and hindered by artists, curious, imaginative, linguist scholars. Okay. I'm guessing I have to keep all of these above the bar. That seems like a reasonable assumption to make. The Yosefkas are dissatisfied. For whatever reason. The Yosefskas are a hardly yo hardy lot, excelling at carpentry and masonry, building great monuments to our lord. Like fervor. Okay, so I'm guessing these are all different... Oh, I can see what's happening already. Alright. These are all different stats. Up here, you'll notice uh, Mr. Peter has stats that we don't know about. Hmm. So I'm guessing if we sacrifice a person, those stats will impact these bars, and as such, we have to sacrifice the right people in the right order, so Lord Chernobog is happy. Cadwell's satisfied. Family of miners and merchants. They are the wealthiest in the village and love discipline. The Ephersons, the most devout followers of Chernobog, wielding whips and hearing confessions. For our penitence there. And the Blackborns, control the guardsmen of the village and interrogate rebels as, as needed for obedience. Okay. Alright, well some people are happy, some people are unhappy. Uh, do not fear. Yes, it's fine. Everything will be fine, Peter Kegney. 
Peter Cagney sets aside scholarly pursuits and stares over the ocean for hours at a time, producing penitence. But he's no longer a scholar and is now rumored to be lazy. You can see down here, penitence will be going down. Cool, okay. I guess that's a thing. Um. Cool, blimey, I wish there was a tutorial. Right, let's go to the Cagney estate here. Sun dims and our crops wither, says Matron Kegney. So I can appoint an advisor. This will select a village for the season's council. Each house must have one. Or I can... Uh, I've got some inquiries remaining at certain places. So I guess we'll begin an inquiry. Who would I like to know more about? Well, we know one about Peter. Let's, uh, let's learn something about his wife, Nadia. Cousin Nadia is rumored to be obedient. Okay, so we have unrepentant, disobedient, undisciplined. Or a disciplined child over there. Peter is lazy. Nadia is pretty obedient as well. Let's, uh, let's have an obedient advisor. Yeah? Sounds good, right? Okay, I'm guessing we're doing... I'm guessing this is going well. The devil hasn't risen out of the water to eat me just yet, so... That's a bonus. Alright, to the Yosefka estate. Without fervor, why suffer living? Oh, cheer up, adjudicator Yosefka. So we've got no more inquiries available for this town. We haven't earned them yet. Katrina is full of fervor. That's good. We need fervent people, so sure. Fervor is good, I'm sure. Maybe. This is why you shouldn't put me in charge of... Uh, shouldn't put me in charge of cults. Always been more of a follower. Always been more of a follower, me. Alright. Coldwell Estate. So yeah, I'm guessing it's, it's it's depending on what I want to boost. I'd love to boost some obedience a little bit. Doesn't seem like there's a huge amount. Maybe we should get a penitent person going? We did lose a little bit of penitence in whatever the hell that letter was the first time, but we have an inquiry here, so let's learn about... Let's learn a bit more about Bogdan... Bogdan Caldwell here, or Cadwell. He is lacking fervor. Okay then. Well, let's take Svetlana, because I really don't know what I'm doing right now, and this choice is as good as any other, I would guess. Okay. Two more to go. So we've got an inquiry here. I guess we should learn about uh, these people we don't know anything about. Bella Efferson, tell me of your traits. Also lacking fervor. Cool, that's not useful. You know too much. Knows too much. Wow, there's a... There's a thing. Maybe we should boost some ignorance? Boost a little bit of ignorance? Alright, and last but not least, Blackborns. Alright, let's learn a bit about Valen Blackborn. Also disciplined. So it doesn't look like we're going to have anything that's boosting obedience anytime soon. Maybe a bit more penitence? Let's do that. Misha Blackborn. So, we begin the season, of which we've got three years remaining. I guess here we go. Alright, begin the month. Oh, okay, select one to three advisors, so we can either burn the books, build monuments, confiscate goods, flagellate the sinners, and investigate the heresy. Well, we need to boost a bit of obedience. Okay, 
whole bunch of stuff changes. Oh god. Maybe a bit more ignorance, a little bit of book burning, a bit of a book barbecue, never hurt anybody. And flagellate the sinners. Let's just go all out. Alright, it could be a religion of peace and construction, but I would rather set fire to people on top of all of their confiscated books. Let's try that. Alright, average outcome. Scouring the town to find one old world book to burn. Nadia was just going to be a crony, with your permission. She brings you tea and a foot massage. Oh. Major virtue of obedience plus 15. Alright. And I got a free foot massage out of it. But nobody knows anything about Nadia's vice. It's having an unknown impact on our community. Flagellating sinners. Chessa dutifully whipped the sinful, adhering to the rites of penitence. They led the village in a mesmerizing scriptures passage, doing something to ignorance, but still unknown behaviors. Okay, Misha interrogated townspeople, it seems a few parents conspired to hide children from the ritual. She personally encourages more confessors to come forward. Well. These, uh, these bars are going down in certain places, that's for sure. Okay, these are... Uh, the Yosefkas the really, uh... Really not the biggest fans of me. Really, really not the biggest fans. They're just... They, give me a chance, give me a chance, alright? It's... I'm new management. It's gonna be a bit of an upheaval, I'm sure. I'm sure your previous line manager was very good at just letting you do what you want, but I'm here to sort of streamline this organization, okay? Bring in new ideas, it's gonna be a bit of upheaval, you're not gonna be used to it. Probably. Alright, onwards to April. Well, penitence is still super low, so let's get a whipping. Maybe we should build some monuments, rub the Yosefkas the right way. We will get a boost to, uh, a boost to obedience if we burn some more books, though. That might be nice. There we go. Putting up a bunch of bars. Let us begin the next month. Oh, Nadja, come on. No bonfires. But we get some obedience and we still don't know what the hell else she's up to. A great outcome of building monuments. Force the laborers to toil day and night crafting fine monuments worthy of our god. Spend some extra time at the monument construction sites, increasing or doing something to further. Here we got a vice. Katarina is rumored to be knowing too much. She polls the town on their thoughts about a library. Affecting ignorance, penitence is super low. Alright, let's whip up some penitence then, shall we? Okay, Jessica was discovered to be childlike. Totters about a favorite of the people. Proving ignorance. A childlike flagellate. What a what a poor and unfortunate childhood the people around here must lead. Ugh. Alright, still no idea of what the vice is. Okay, so depending on which houses we pick, some people are happy about it, some people are sad, okay. Alright, and onwards to the month of May. So, fervor's pretty high already, obedience and penitence are super low. This will increase ignorance a little bit because they're childlike. Do a little bit more heresy. A little bit more heresy. And let's throw up the discipline a little bit. Yeah, let's chuck up the uh, let's chuck up some discipline. Svedlana seized forbidden desserts and fine cloth, ensuring steadfast focus on prayers. Press encourages more confessors, but still knows too much. Ignorance is suffering. Damn you, Svetlana, and your knowledge. Oh, rumored to be disobedient. 
Jezza revises the codes of law with a new, more confusing interpretation affecting obedience. Damn these people and their wicked ways. Heresy continues, but uh... Yeah, obedience. Super low. Might have to get some more obedient members of society in charge for the next season. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. The gathering convenes. Who will be the sacrifice of this season? I feel like the disobedient but childlike Chessa Efferson. Or maybe the one who knows too much. Two people know too much. No. There's not enough obedience around here. Lord Chernobog demands unthinking, unquestioning action. Probably. Okay, the major virtue will be horrified by Chess's death and lose ignorance. I'll go super down. The villagers won't find the sacrifice very inspiring, barely raising their obedience, but enough. And House Efferson will be outraged, since we lack pr lack proof of their transgressions. Hmm, okay. Maybe pick it a person to toss on the pyre. Not as easy as one might expect. So I'm guessing there's a difference between these ones with question marks, which are just suspicions of their goings-on, and these ones without, we know exactly what Nadja's up to. She's a crony, but we need that obedience. What would happen if we sacrificed? Yeah, we would super lose obedience. In fact, it goes red. Let's not, uh... Let's not do that. Yeah, super, super not good on anything. I think, I think Chessa might be our best bet anyway. Well, we have to go with Chessa, unfortunately. It's not the best, but we've got ignorance to spare. Actually, saying that, Misha, I've just noticed here. Penitence will be pretty all right. Although they'll be super unhappy with us. Oh, so many choices, guys. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Alright. No, we're doing it. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. Just roll with it. Feels right. Do it. Set that person aflame. Well then. Ooh, that was a bit... That was a bit... Whatever it was. Well then. Through sacrifice thy will be done. We sacrifice the lives of Chessa in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to Efferson. An unjust sacrifice. They are outraged. Jesus, they are not happy with us. The other houses approve. Hooray! The villagers wonder if any soul is safe from the Lord's wrath. Increasing obedience, reducing ignorance. The night before the new season, a whisper caresses your dream. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage fervor. Cowardly one, give her to me. Okay. Guys, God has spoken to me. Uh, we need to increase fervor. Oh God, look how high that bar is. Okay, we need to keep fervor high. Super high. And bring to him the cowardly ones. Okay. Mailbox is currently empty. So I guess we'll begin again. Let us sow that we may reap. Well, let's find out what Peter Kegney does, because he's lazy. Yet full of fervor. 
How can you be minus 20 fervor, but full of fervor? Rubbish. Sorry, Peter, but you just... It's not looking good for you, right? You're giving me no reason to... No reason to think you might be useful. Well, we're gonna have to chuck in some advisor, and Nadja was pretty good. She was pretty useful. But maybe we should take the disciplined Zoya. Because I don't want to take, uh... I don't want to take our fervor minus 20, that's for certain. Let's take this discipline. Also, probably sacrificing a child is worth more points. I don't really know the scoring system for this sort of thing, but, you know, it's probably worth something. Alright, meanwhile, back at the Yosefkas. Still no inquiries here. We just have to, uh... We just have to guess. They are full of fervor, but she knows too much. Ignorance is super high at the moment. Or super low, sorry, needs to be super high. I'm not used to considering ignorance as a, as a, as a, a boon and a bonus. Alright, let's take... Let's take Ludmilla. Penitent. No, let's take, actually, let's take Aaron. Let's get that, let's boost that ignorance. Okay. I need my coward, though. Let us begin our inquiries. Zanya, the spoiled brat of a daughter who always begs for sweets and has a sweet hat. What have you got? You are undisciplined. I really do need that ignorance, I'm not going to lie. Let's grab Casimir here. You're ignorant, Casimir, but I like it. Do need to up that fervor, though. Vadim Blackborn is full of fervor. Maybe we can find out what else he's full of. No discipline. We've got discipline to spare at the moment, so let's take that fever. You can come with me, my friend. And last but not least, at the effort in Oh yeah, I forgot I killed one of you. Hi. Sorry about that. Awkward, I know. Zvante Efferson, who are you? Who are you? Also unrepentant. Okay. Well, I haven't figured out who the coward might be. Haven't figured out who the coward might be. Um. Let's take. Uh, let's let's grab Eden. Just don't touch me. Okay, sir. I was supposed to bring you the coward. I don't know if I can do that because I don't know what that is, but here we go. Season 2 begins. June. Right. We want that fervor. We want that super high fervor. I want some heresy. I want to burn out that heresy and I want... Ignorance. Ignorance increased. Let us do it. Burn the books. We found one old world book. Zoya was discovered to be ascetic. Zoya grows even thinner, losing all interest in food and sleep. Increasing discipline. Very nice. A valued member. But your vice is doing something. A small shrine to the god was crafted. Increasing fervor ever so slightly. Ignorance was brought up by somewhat. But something bad happened that we may never know about. Only some average outcomes happening around here. 
Vadim arrives late to every advisor meeting, mumbling an apology. Vadim, what are you doing? Super reduced our discipline is what you're doing. Hmm, not making a huge amount of friends here, am I? So we can burn books, build monuments, confiscate goods, flagellate sinners, or investigate heresy once again. Everything's fine. I need that. I need that fervor up. More fervor, please. More heresy to be discovered, and let's uh, let's flagellate some sinners. I feel like I feel bad for killing one of Efferson's daughters. I feel quite bad. So we'll give them a go. Give them a chance to redeem themselves. Aaron, you're not very good at boosting this fervor, man. I need fires being driven. Hmm, okay. Poor Radcom, Eden granted forgiveness to sinners without punishment, and everyone was very confused. And you're disobedient. Oh, Eden, I trusted you to be useful. Uh-oh. Obedience is certainly suffering at the moment, and Vadim has been discovered to be a pervert. Rumors about Vadim's strange desires cannot be true, yet they are all the town can talk about. Discipline minus ten. Well, we've got one more month to uh, one more month to fix this, guys. We do need to fix this. So, we need obedience, desperately, and fervor needs to be high too. Let us confiscate some goods. Hopefully gonna boost obedience somewhere. Let's super up that asceticism. See, the problem is, we can't boost obedience via the normal, the normal town because he's a pervert. Which reduces discipline by a, well... Yeah, reduce discipline by 30. We don't want that, we're, we're building up discipline currently. Alright, well I guess we'll build some more monuments. Sure. Okay, bit of ignorance. Some slight more discipline. But you are rumored to be unrepentant. Wow. It's almost like everybody in this town has a good trait and one of the one terrible trait. And I'll be honest, I don't need it. I certainly don't need my fervor people lacking fervor. God's not gonna be happy, folks. Also unrepentant. Ooh. Oh, this just hasn't gone well, has it? A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. Who will be sacrificed this season? I'll be honest, Vadim. Oh, that will super reduce fervor, though. That will super, super reduce fervor, but because we know what a terrible pervert he is, they will accept the decision. I need to keep that fervor high. I certainly don't need to kill another Efferson and drive them into rebellion. <laughs> um, let's have a look. That will reduce ignorance a little bit. But will inspire penitence, will inspire penitence a little. Again, the Yusefkas will rebel, but it will boost our fervor, something... something cool. Yeah, they seem all very... They all seem like bad choices this time. I feel like Casimir might be our best bet. I feel like Casimir might be our best bet, just because it keeps everything else not in red. 
All right, Casimir. They were all pretty short straws, but yours was the shortest. Goodbye. Do do stab. Well then. Okay. Approval goes down. Penitent and ignorance both go down. Alright, well, it's autumn. I'm still trying to encourage fervor and find the cowardly one. Man, being in charge of cult, not as easy as I thought. <laughs>